who is taking responsibility for the things that have happened to the people in the community? And we must learn to take responsibility. It is embarrassing for VRA to be uh, blaming uh, 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 met, uh, uh, Metro you. for not telling them or giving them accuracy. At least the little history I know tells me that 1991 it happened. Mm. And then 2020, 2010 it happened. 2010 it happened. So 1991, 2010, 13 years ago it happened. What measures did we put in place? We didn't put any measures in place. We live in a nation where people share responsibilities. They don't want to take shit. They don't want to take responsibility. And we do blame game. Unfortunately for us, the most unwisest thing every politician is doing now is politicizing the situation. When human life is at stake, this is not about NDC and MPP. Carefully and shake. It's about human life. Mm -hmm. The people are dying. Some are MPP. Some are NDC. And so we should not politicize a situation like this. We should look at the, the human beings and the places that... People have lost things. The crusade we are doing at did domain. If I started yesterday, we're we'll finishing tomorrow on Friday. So when I finish here, I just came to Accra because of this program. I'm going back to Adi domain. We are asking ourselves who is responsible and who has not looked at it. Then what other thing I say, Sheikh, that is very important to me is that we politicize it by saying we are setting up a parliamentary subcommittee. Let's be very honest with ourselves. What kind of respect do people put the parliamentary committee? Hmm. Many parliamentary committees that are set in subcommittee, even people go and attack the chairman, go and attack members of things. People do their work genuinely as parliamentary members and they have their parliamentary oversight, but it's not take, they are not taken seriously. This is an issue that I think, even from the executive point of view, we should wake up and set a committee of inquiry. Get one member two-member or three-member committee of inquiry and let us go into it. Because Kafui and Sheikh, there will always be rain. Mm. Unless we've come to the end of the world, there will always be rain. And so if we know there's always going to be rain and we're not putting measures in place, then I think we are not getting it right. So these are some of my initial thoughts. And I'm going back there again. We should not politicize a situation like this. We should look at it and know that people's lives are being lost. Whether they are NDC members or NDP members or CP members, life is life. In Ghana, we are connected. The Christian, the Muslim, the Hindu, the fetish priest, the uh, chief tansi, the traditional are connected. And I can tell you, Kafu, I don't know if you've been to your place. You come from the voter region. Mm -hmm. The place is devastated. I went on Monday. It's it's shake. If yeah. you go and you see, yeah, I went. It's so sad. I went to Monday. I was in Mepe. I was in Sokoto. So, it's so sad. I was oh, sorry. Yeah. You know. Cemeteries very, underwater. Very, like cemeteries, very sad. Mm. Cemeteries and to think that crazy. as Ghanaians we politicize this thing is is inhuman. Yeah. It's inhuman. Somebody should be brought to book. Somebody should wake up. Somebody should take responsibility. And we stop that issue. This nonsense must stop. Where we politicize everything. When people's life is at stake. I am coming from watering. In fact. We are taking food and things there. People don't have places to sleep. Mm. Children who were born on that day are losing their lives. And as a man of God, I look at this and I think this is inhuman. This nonsense, 40 million, doesn't solve the problem. People have lost their livelihood. They've lost their farm. And can you imagine, we are talking about preserving the nation. Why don't we create a plan, a plan B so we can even preserve the water? We are wasting these waters. When the Akosomo, I'm sorry I'm speaking a little longer, but when the Akosomo um, was started, by the grace of God, because the Hungarians were involved, I got to read a, a lot about it. The, our current Consul General's father, uh, Ernst Bodeja, was part of the people who started it in the early 60s. There were supposed to have been canals. These canals are supposed to preserve certain waters, like we have in Amsterdam, like we have in some part of England and things, so that when there's a spillage, at least they can keep it. We are not. What I've heard that is very serious, chic and careful is that if we don't handle this thing well, tomorrow, the whole of them will be wiped off. Mm. Because when the spillage come, and it come in volumes, and remember, the estuary and the water and the sea connected together, the whole of them and the whole area can be wiped off. You know, I was driving home with my son yesterday. He says, if the dam breaks, will the water reach Accra? Yes. That's the question he asked me. Yeah. The chef. Mm. And I said, I have to find out. Yes. Mm. 
Yes. <laughs> all of them are working. Through Dansuma, but he was thinking about this. Yeah. You know? So I'm appealing, please, those of you who have the responsibility and oversight over these issues, don't politicize it. And also learn to take responsibility. Seriously speaking, I'm expecting a positive statement from the presidency. I'm expecting a positive statement from the powers that be. Somebody must be held responsible. Technically, we have lost it. And what is hydrology? What is water? And rather, the nonsense that is happening now, and, and I don't pardon myself at all for using the word nonsense, because it doesn't make sense. Absurdity is that we are trying to use jargons. You hear some of the people talk on TV, and what the, the things they are saying, the ordinary man doesn't understand. Hmm. Why didn't we inform the people in the area? And so we informed them. How did we inform them? Actually, I went there and I asked about people, like, um, were you informed? They said, they knew, they knew nothing. They knew nothing. They didn't know. All of a sudden, they woke up in the morning, there was water, water. water up to their knees. The chiefs! Yeah. No I, I'm coming from Adidome. Yeah. Last night, I slept in Adidome. I left this morning at 4 o'clock a.m. Just so I can make it here. We're grateful. The people of the Vota region, most of the chiefs, it is MCs that show them uh, some circular that came. It is not about circular. I keep saying that until we break down jargons and we come to people's level, the woman at the market, the farmer there, the fisherman there, how do they get to know that this is what is going to happen? And are we saying this is the last time it's going to happen? There's been spilling all this time. Mm -hmm. Now, the irresponsibility shake of some of the people is that they could have let this water small, 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 mm -hmm. small, the way they involved mm -hmm. instead of doing big. Mm -hmm. Are we saying that it will not rain again? It's going to rain again. So I've check the weather from the forecast. It's, it's, it's raining. Rain again. <laughs> it's raining. It's, it's raining rain again. Yeah. Yesterday it rained heavily mm -hmm. in Vota region. Mm -hmm. I was in Adome. It rained heavily. Thank God in the evening, God cleared the skies for me to have a good crusade. In any case, God blessed us. We had blind eyes open. We had cripples walk. We had a lot of miracles in Adidome. And I'm going back now. My team is there. We have over 100 people mm -hmm. who have joined me to the place there. And let us do it. Thank God, of course, once again, for Kofi Aban and the Rig World Oil for what you are going to do for the people of Adidome today. They are going to do a big presentation to trucks of rice and bags and coal pots and uh, things are going there. And, and the king of Adidome, King uh, Dufia uh, Kakolo Ajima and the Fifth, he's so happy. He sat in the car that we came in yeah, this morning. Yeah, yeah. To make sure that you also go back with him. Yes, <laughs> he make sure he, he's making sure that <laughs> yeah. I'm so impressed. Tobo, if you are watching it, yeah, congratulations to the people of Adidu, man. Please come tonight mm -hmm. and all the presentation, all the over 2,500 rice, bags of rice, and all the sugars and others that are meant for you. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to make sure that nobody takes advantage of mm -hmm. you. In people's dying situation, we should be very mindful and sensitive.